Joe. What a girl, what a world, what a light. Oh, I'm Mary Joe. What a mind, love is blind, what a white. Joan Davis. With Jim Backer. In They'll be here any minute. Uh, Joan, uh, what are you doing with my law books? Well, honey, you haven't seen those fraternity brothers of yours since you graduated. So? So I thought I'd let them and their wives know that you're a judge. <laughs> without being too obvious. Uh, Joan, put the law books back in my study, please. I admire your subtlety, but I just don't think it's the proper thing to do, that's all. Well, can I help it if I'm proud of you? And I certainly uh, don't see anything wrong in hinting a little that you're a judge. Out. Out. <laughs> uh, Joan, they should be here any minute. Yes, any minute. Jones. Oh, I thought that this would show him that you're a judge without Out being, being too, too obvious. Yeah, well, out, out there. Mm -hmm. Out? <laughs> uh, I leave it here, dear, to make a wonderful hat rack, honest. Out, out there. <laughs> Joan, you don't seem to understand. I help pull Dave and Steve through law school by the skin of their teeth, and, well, here I am a judge, and they might not be doing so well. I don't want to flaunt my success in their faces. Can I just leave this here as sort of an ornament? <laughs> <laughs> All right, darling. Well, here they are. <laughs> Oh, come in. Oh, Larry, hey, how are you? How are you? How are you? Good 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 well, well I, 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 Joan, Joan, this is a day better worth my wife's heart. Oh, you, Mrs. Stevens? Nice to see you. Well, may I take your coat? Shall we uh, sit down? Well, just for a minute, I've got tickets to a show for all of us. And later, Wonderful. we're going on to the Zanzibar room. Oh, they fit to have a wonderful show. We ought to know. We've seen everything in oh, town. just everything in town. Well, let's sit down for just a moment. Oh, certainly. Wonderful. Oh, hey. Please, hasn't changed the thing. No, no, no. Well, now. Well, it's sure good to see our boy again, Mr. Yeah. Stevens. Oh, we couldn't leave town without spending an evening with old Brad here, could we? Oh, I think we're kind of celebrating tonight for Steve here. He was just elected chairman of the board of the Central Railroad. <laughs> That's quite a boy you got there, Linda. He has no right. That's just peanuts compared to old Dave here. You remember we used to call him stupid? <laughs> well, stupid. Stupid is now president of international oil. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Uh, do you know what that is, stupid, uh, Dave? Huh? Oh, sure. I've seen lots of them. Where are the nuts? <laughs> no. No, that's uh, Brad's gavel. He's a judge. Well, what do you know? He stuck to law. <laughs> Did you? Well, David just used being a lawyer. Well, to sort of get started in business. Uh, after that, no stopping it. <laughs> well, uh, um... How long do you uh, folks plan on being in town? Oh, we're leaving tomorrow. But you must come and visit us when we open up our house in Maine. Oh, she can't, darling. She's coming to Southampton to see us. Yeah, it's very sweet of you, but you see, Brad and I take a trip every year. Uh, last year, we took a trip around the world. <laughs> this year, we're going to try someplace else. <laughs> I think we better get going, don't you? Yeah. Yes, I'll just get my things. I, I think I'll wear my cloth coat tonight. I hung my sable next to my mink, and now my mink is full of sable air, and my sable is full of mink. <laughs> it's the molting season, you know. Wonderful evening, wasn't it? Mm. Wasn't the play great? Yeah. 
and supper and dancing at the Zanzibar? Mm. Brad, something's bothering you. No, I've just been wondering if I haven't been selfish. Selfish? Yes, all these years I've been content to be a judge. It's given me honor, respect, and dignity. But my wife has to wear cloth coats. <laughs> oh, Brad. No, no, I've only been thinking of myself. I haven't thought about you. Now, here, here, take Butterworth and Harper. They had the foresight to use law as a stepping stone to bigger things. Now their wives are wearing mink. And if I were a judge, you could have mink, too. But I want you to be a judge. No, no, it's strictly a job with a moderate salary. All this time, I've been cheating you out of a lot of nice things. But I'm happy being cheated. <laughs> you can't fool me. I saw you stroking that mink. <laughs> I stroke cats, too, but that doesn't mean I want to wear one. <laughs> big homes and butlers and chauffeurs and downstairs maids and upstairs maids. Oh, who needs maids? Besides, if we had an upstairs maid in this house, we'd have trouble with her. She'd keep falling off the roof. <laughs> I'm very happy, dear, honest. No, no, I made up my mind. I've been very selfish and, well, I'm going to do something about it. Appellate court. I find that, uh... Judge Stevens' office. Oh, uh, one minute, Mr. Morrison. Mr. Morrison returning your call, Judge. Oh, yes, yes. Um, uh, why don't you finish what you already have, Miss Bromley? <laughs> Hello, Bill. How are you, Brad? Haven't seen or talked to you in months. I know, and the last time you did, you, uh, made me an offer. Does it still stand? Well, you, it does. Mr. Humphrey's still looking for the right man. It uh, still pays $25,000 a year? That's a bonus. I'll take it. Good boy. I'll set up a meeting between you and Mr. Humphrey. But uh, don't worry. With my recommendation, the meeting is a mere formality. Well, you'd better warn Mr. Humphrey that I have no experience in the uh, soup canning business. With your brains, ability to manage people, and your analytical mind, you've all the qualifications to be an ideal executive director of the Chicken Doodle Division. <laughs> Brad, I, I, I just can't let you do it. The $25,000 a year is nothing to sneeze at, Joan. Can you honestly picture yourself in a cannery? <laughs> I mean, you can't just jump from jurisprudence into chicken noodle. <laughs> Well, I'll admit it is quite a jump. You're a judge, a public servant, a, a man who loves and understands people and, and their problems. You're not a business executive. I, I, you couldn't take the pressure. It would change you in no time. Joan, you don't seem to understand that my and being... And another thing, Brad, a business executive, you know, is absolutely... Joan, will you please listen to me? Sure. Well, I've been trying to tell you that as far as my being a business executive is concerned, it I'm just... I'm glad you brought that up, darling, because a business executive is just what you shouldn't be. Joan, did it ever occur to you that I'm not doing this just for you? Oh, honey, that's not true. Now, please, Joan, I I've been a judge for a number of years, and I'm ready for something else. It's what I want, believe me. Do you mean that? Yes, I do, so let's just forget about it and, and get some sleep. All right, dear, I hope you know what you're doing. I do. Good night, dear. Good night, Angel. <laughs> I wonder if he does mean it. Maybe he just thinks he means it. Is Brad really the type to be a business executive? Maybe he won't be happy. And if he isn't happy, I won't be happy. God. Miss <laughs> Mabel, it's just awful. I haven't seen Brad in weeks. He's always tied up in a business conference. Always too busy for me. Well, it's been a year now since he's been a business executive and well, he's a changed man. Changed. Watch it, I've got the gout. Wait, I, I think he's home. Bye, Mabel. Will you watch my foot? I've got the gout. Wish I could find someone that can drive. It's the left hand. Hold on your hand. Will you, Morrison? Hello, lover. Uh, who are you? 
I'm Joan, your wife. Joan, my wife? Of course. Oh, that's quite possible. I do have a wife, and her name is... Uh... Joan, sir. Yes, yes. Come over here, little dear. <laughs> Forgive me for getting. I got so many things on my mind. You know, I'm very busy. Get me the telephone, will you, Brownie? Don't dawdle. Here we are. Right here. Get me the Chicago operator, will you? Right, uh, get me the New right. York operator. Yes, and, 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 and you, you, you there. I, I'm Joan, your wife. Oh, yeah, never forget a face. In your case, I'll make an exception. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, the ticker, the ticker. Right, Look, Charm, be sharp. Hurry, <laughs> don't dawdle. Right, a business is from the oh, bottom up. You understand? Right, 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 the ticker, the ticker. A man with a badly cut suit, I can tell. Oh, my God, Humphrey Canning is down four points. <laughs> 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 Every time the stock market goes down, his ulcers act up. Well, what happens when the market is good? Oh, he has a heart attack. Mm. <laughs> yes, I've never seen a man take business so seriously. Yes? Ready with your call for Chicago, BJ? Well, give it to me. Yes. I have the call from New York. Yes, it's, ready it's, with your call from New York. All right, hold on, New York, New York. Chicago, what happened to the four carloads of beef for our beef with barley soup? What's that? It's coming? Oh, good go. Hold on, Chicago. New York, New York, what happened to our eight carloads of barley for our beef with barley soup? Well, hurry it up. Use whips. Force if necessary. All right, New York, there we are. Oh, what a relief. Ah. Brad, uh, uh, there's something I'd like to discuss. Oh, yes, yes, my dear, busy, yes, yes. I, oh, yes, honey, go out and buy it, dear. When in doubt, take money, there you are. It's not Yes, money. I know, here, no. here, here you are. For you. What's that? Big trouble, BJ. Yes, yes, well, what is it? As you know. Our biggest moneymaker is our chicken noodle soup. Yes, yes. DuPont will be able to undersell us. DuPont? But that's impossible. They don't manufacture soup. They do now. They just invented a nylon noodle. A nylon noodle? What I was trying to say Dear, dear, uh, just go ahead and buy it, will you, dear? Buy it, no, buy it, no, buy no, it. No, honey, Brad. Uh, yes, yes, I'm dear, saying... here, buy it. Uh, uh, buy, buy it, buy it, buy it. Brad, what I'm trying to tell you is that, well, you're a changed man. Now, I want a divorce. Me. Me. Who are you? <laughs> oh, yes, yes, I never forget a card. Ah, ah, ah. Well... What do you have to say about the divorce? <laughs> New York, New York. Get in California. Get me that Come on. Get in California. Get in California. Get in California. Get in California. Get in Yes, Get in California. What's the matter? Oh, Brad, I, I had the most awful dream about you being a business executive. Joan, I, I thought we decided all that. Yeah, honey, but you were bald and you were fat and, and you had ulcers when things were bad and, and a heart attack when things were good. Please stay a judge, Brad. Stay a judge, darling. Joanie, Joanie, please, please. You're giving me a headache. A headache? You see, you're losing your health already. How's the hair, darling? Have you noticed any falling out lately? No, honey. Uh, just been... 